The temperature keeps climbing, and for the millions who suffer from diabetes, the heat is especially hazardous. Your body sensation, how it metabolizes or interprets the heat, how it responds to heat, really differs in individuals with diabetes. Dr. Jesse Bracamonte with Mayo Clinic says it's critical to check sugars frequently when it's hot outside. Soaring temperatures can cause episodes of low blood sugar. If people have well-controlled sugars and they're active during the day, they may find that their sugars drop. Heat actually makes your metabolism speed up and you use a bit more insulin and then therefore that sugars may drop. On the other hand, Bracamonte says the heat can also raise sugar levels if you get dehydrated. He says to drink plenty of water, limit alcohol, caffeine, and other sugary drinks which can lead to dehydration. And avoid going out during the hottest part of the day. When you are outside, dress appropriately with light colored loose clothing. Helps your body breathe and really helps to dissipate some of that extra heat that you normally would retain. Since those with diabetes have to pay special attention to foot health to avoid potential nerve damage or sores, Bracamonte says to not walk outside barefooted this summer. Heat and the cement and the, just the, the temperature from the ambient uh, walkway can cause severe damage to your feet and in some cases put you in the hospital. So footwear is, appropriate footwear is key. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.